Sure, so enjoy the warm temperatures while you can. We are going to see a chance for a few showers that will move through as we go through the morning hours. And then we are going to see some falling temperatures, especially for our lake shore areas and areas immediately inland. Those temperatures will be dropping through the day. If you're further inland, you'll hold on to 50s rather than some of the 60s that we enjoyed yesterday. We are going to watch Monday night as our temperatures continue to fall into next week. Might be cold enough that we actually get some snow into the picture uh, rather than rain. We're going to watch a system that's going to move through mainly Monday overnight. We could see the northern edge of this kind of clipping, especially our southern most counties. So that's going to be something to keep in mind, especially the further south you are better chance to see some of that snow. We still have some model differences and that's something we're going to watch very closely as we head into next week, but it is going to be cold enough that we'll have the potential for some snow by then out there this morning. Uh, definitely not cold enough for snow or temperatures this morning for February starting off low to mid 450s. It is an incredibly warm morning out there for February and many of us, especially up towards the lakeshore, these are likely our high temperatures for the day because again, we're going to be falling through the afternoon. We have had a lot of cloud cover out there, but dry for the time being. We've got some rain off to our southwest that we're going to be tracking. This is going to be trying to move through our area as we go through the morning hours and we're going to dry out a little bit as we get into the rest of the day. We've got a cold front with this that's going to be moving through. It's going to shift our winds around a little bit and eventually lead us to those warmer temperatures heading into next week. We've got a good shot of that warm air moving up from the Gulf of Mexico for right now, but on the other side of that front, you notice those temperatures are colder, 30s and 20s. So we're going to start a downward trend with those temperatures. National Design Right Hour by our forecast. Cloud cover out there for right now. As we get a little further into the morning hours, we see the chance for a couple of showers through the morning. Those are largely out of here by about lunchtime or so, but notice our temperatures, especially along the lakeshore, will be colder by that point and that's going to be the case as we get into the afternoon. Still mild inland, but areas along the lakeshore will feel that chill in the air. We might get a little bit of late day sunshine into the mix, um, but not going to be enough to really improve our temperatures too much. Into next week, we're looking cooler. Our temperatures are going to struggle in the 30s and low 40s. We're looking dry for Sunday. Again, we're going to watch Monday night for that chance for some snow. We could see a couple additional chances for some minor snow late next week.